his opponent fighting out of the red corner, wearing the solid black trunks and weighing in at 219 and one quarter pounds from Catskill, New York. His professional record is unblemished with 36 consecutive victories, 32 knockouts, 28 KOs in five rounds or less, and 16 in the first round alone. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the undisputed, the undefeated, heavyweight champion of the world, the decisive blow was a left hook. The people in Williams' corner are sincerely worried about what he does in the first 30 seconds against the Tyson onslaught. And it would appear that the strategy to begin with is to hold, and referee Randy Newman says, uh-uh, we're not going to start that way. This is sort of, sort of a reunion here because both men have just won punches. In fact, Williams here has selected to fight Tyson inside. He claimed the other day that if Tyson throws any unnecessary punches, illegal punches, he will accommodate him and throw the same punches back. Well, Frank Bruno felt the sting of Tyson's elbow several times, as other opponents have complained that they have felt it as well. Because Wynn's left jab is so strong, that should help him as long as he keeps that right hand up and watch Tyson's left hook, which is a powerful punch. that the jab will be the key, but in throwing the left jab, he must also keep that right hand up and pow. There's the left hook. And you saw Mike pivot upward with both feet planted and turn the hips into the punch. This is where the power comes from. The, the reason people fear Mike Tyson is because he's one of the few, if not the only man, that can knock you out in the heavyweight division with one punch. Here's another look at the devastating left hook. And what Tyson does here, he wee bobs the wheeze, gets under that jab, and comes with a beautiful left hook. Perfectly timed as Williams was dropping the right hand, just as he said he did after throwing the jab. Well, what happened?